Hi. Oops, birds. <laughs> Hi, good evening. It's Aggie. I just wanted to show you this ground elder. It's coming to flower. It's another umblifer. There's a lot of these. And this is pretty unmistakable. This is edible. It's one of the other things that you should be learning. Get Googling it all. Go Googling. But you get massive slaves. It takes over. So do not put it in your garden. Do not. But it's beautiful. And something else to learn. Look at that nice big patch of it. So I'm going to take you on this little walk. This is what would have been the boundary. The boundary wall with the old castle. Now this castle was destroyed. There are no old pictures of it. No, no, no stories of it at all. You know, the only story you hear is it was a very unimportant castle. Now I've got to be honest, but there's no such thing as a very unimportant castle. Um, after King Richard was defeated, the Battle of Bosworth and uh, buried in the cathedral grounds or under the car park as people like to say. I believe this area, look, this was flowed into the moat. There is no way that you would have had this outside the castle grounds. There's a couple of them all the way down. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. But with virtually no history, virtually no history. Although bizarrely enough, there is a castle by the same name. Somewhere totally unrelated. And I honestly do believe they transported it on the river. I think that would have been one of the last things that they did because there's no way that they've utilised all, all the blocks from it because they haven't. There's not enough. Not anywhere in the whole of the village. It's a very unimportant village. It's been absolutely trash. The history of it eradicated, totally eradicated. There's a mill, the old mill house, right? It's like two stories high. It's got two floors of offices. Now, I've lived in Mansfield when I was younger. And the mills there, and the mills at Matlock and everything, are huge. They're absolutely huge. There's no way... Sorry, <laughs> flies. There's absolutely no way that a mill is only inside the old castle grounds. There's no way that a mill was only two stories high. I mean, we used to play in them as kids. You know, they were like four or five stories down by the side of the river. And that's another thing that we don't have. We do not have the river. There's a bit on the outskirts in the posh bit, like they left a little bit of it. And then they diverted it. Totally diverted it and covered this area up. You know, you can't eradicate a whole area off a map. But yeah, this, this was the boundary. This was the boundary where, you know, the ancients stood firm against the Roman invasion. Everybody was slaughtered. It's pretty grim, really, if you think about it. 
you know, so you can put a whole new, and here's a little bit more elderberry. It's beautiful. It smells amazing. The cordial, when you make it, it's a bit pissy. But if you dry it out and use it in your cold reliever with yarrow flour, I haven't seen any yarrow yet in flour. But I've seen some pineapple weed. Picking a lot of pineapple weed. It's beautiful. You know, if I could go as the crow flies across people's gardens. Well, not even across people's gardens. You just have to go straight through the field. I could be like own farm sharp. In like 10 minutes, look at this lovely little knock. Imagine finding that little little hidey hole when you've been walking all day. Lovely place. It's cute. People don't walk down here. They just take the dogs out for a shit. At least they mostly pick up after them down here. Not too bad. But I don't know. There is something mysterious about this area. Massively mysterious. They even took one of the ends out of the name. Oh, so nice. Coming up to the light at the end. Oh, no, you can't. oh there we go. The light at the end. And then I'm going to have to turn off because it's really irritating. Because this really rich man has bought nearly all the fields around here. He's cut almost all the trees down. Nearly all the hedge. And he's like electric fenced it off everywhere. It's proper a nightmare. You can't even go sledging on there anymore. One of the few sledging places for kids. And it's gone just so some bloke can stick a load of horses on there. So that rich people can potter about on weekends. Oh, here we go. Look at this. It's a bit grim, isn't it? Mm. Oh. Here's your little bit. Walk through here. Don't dare step foot on me thing. I mean, look at all this is skittish as crap. Look, it just went a bit mardy because of the pigeon flat. But I don't know. See, this is everything I hate about public footpaths. Oh yeah, you can have a public footpath, but you can't wander like an inch and a half. Even well, it's not an inch and a half. It's probably about a meter and a half all the way down. It's like march, 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 march. It's like being on one of them freaking walker laters. I don't know what they're called. I've seen in American films in the airports where you just stand there and it like takes you on down. And it's grim, isn't it? It's just so grim. I mean, I know why they do it, you know. I want to keep people and the horses safe. Horses just long. They're nearly as bad as cows for the land. They just fucking trash it. Hello, beautiful. You're very cute. Yeah, don't feed the horses. Don't touch the horses. Very important thing. They're not your horses. You could have special diets and they get really like poorly if you go giving them shit loads of grass and that. Is it called laminitis? It's very painful and I think it can even be deadly just because your horse is a greedy fat git who don't stop eating. Well, I don't know. I don't know why I'm still waffling on, to be fair. But I've got to the end of that bit. It's not, I said it's dry. <laughs> Now this is the hill 
the kids love to sledge up and down. I mean, there's big brambles in the middle of it. It's pretty groovy. That oak tree's amazing. As is that boy, it's just been decimated. Look, you can just. Well, I'm not going to go that way. It's annoying. It's like more like walking electric fences. And he cut all the trees down that I planted. Plums and pears and apples and cherries. It was amazing down the back. All the way along, all the way along the footpath. There were fruit. You know, it weren't just for me. I mean, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed the bounty. But, but other people enjoyed it and they just came along and cut them all down and stuffed an electric fence in fucking horses. I'm sorry, I'm swearing now. I mean, I like horses, you know, when they serve a purpose, but they don't really seem to serve much of a purpose, do they, at the moment? Just taking somebody for a ride on a red hot sunny day when a horse shouldn't be going for a ride on a red hot sunny day. I'm gonna go because I'm annoyed now. I don't know why I annoyed myself. I think it's because I feel as though I can't wander around the field because if I try to wander a little bit, you know, I'd be getting shot up the arse with a pea shooter. Get off my land. Right, I'm going to go. I'll probably never post this because it's a lot of waffle, isn't it? <laughs>